with graham flour, ghee, sugar, nuts, and cardamom powder. Oh my god. Terupati Bondu Ladu is considered to be one of the most What's up guys? Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. It's your boy Sam. Carlisa. Alright guys, so today as y'all can already see, we are going to be trying Indian sweets. So we, I, you know, we definitely want to let you guys know we don't know anything about the Indian sweets. So definitely, you know, just bear with us. We are new to this one as well. So we are very excited to try these different types of treats. I, I, I can't stop smiling. I'm excited, y'all. Yes, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm actually in the mood for sweets as well. Me so too. I'm really excited. So the place that we're at, guys, has a lot, a lot, a lot of different desserts and sweets here. So we are super excited to show you guys here. She likes to say sweets. I like to say desserts. Guys, again, I'm so excited for this video. I'm a sweet tooth myself. So so yes. is she. No, she you're actually more. like No, you like chocolate more than me. Yeah. But again, you guys see the title. We're eating nothing but Indian desserts. Let's get into this video. Let's, Let's go. go. Alright guys, so we are here. It looks amazing. And there's a lot of different uh desserts here. They're like staring at me. Um so let's just get into it because she looks like she's ready to take our order. All right, guys, we are. Why are y'all looking at us like that? <laughs> What's the problem? Why are they looking at us like that? It's Halloween edition, baby. Come on, we trying to spice something up. <laughs> Batman and Batwoman. Yeah. First time Batman trying. Batman and Batwoman is Catwoman. Cat... No, it's not Catwoman, it's Batwoman. I well, don't no, know. it does look this like This is cat. Catwoman. Nah, I mean, nah. Guys, does her mask look like Catwoman or Batwoman? Let us know in the comments below. I think it's Catwoman. Catwoman? Well, we tried to be <laughs> Batman and Batwoman. I mean, I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> but, guys, we just got all of our snacks. Well, I say snacks. We just got all of our desserts. As soon as we went into the restaurant, guys, they were very helpful. You know, we were searching for the most popular Indian sweets. And that's exactly what they gave us. They gave us the names. Um, they didn't really explain too much. We didn't really ask them too much about how does everything taste. We just wanted to be a surprise. She, um, she actually did try to give us a sample. Yeah, we she said, did no, try no, to no, give no, us no. a sample, yes, which we really appreciate. And we did want to give a huge shout out to the restaurant. It's located in Duluth, Georgia. So this is the actual name of the place. It's called Goku Sweets. And it's going to be, um, they also have one in Decatur, and then they also have one in Duluth as well. Um, we will be going back here shortly, so we do have a very, very exciting video coming. Maybe one or two videos coming um, featuring for another Indian video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. We are we very excited. No very excited we're not spilling anything if you guys you know know about the indian culture you guys should know what's coming up we got like a um mixture like a mix box of like different types of uh sweets so this is what it looks like look how neat that looks guys it's all cute um it's very cute um uh, very cultural it has their logo on here as well Goku sweets um so 
some of you may know by just looking at this box of what type of sweets are in here we have no idea but we're gonna do our best with pronouncing and saying the names if we mess up on anything please feel free to leave a comment down below and also don't forget if you haven't already to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and join our family, family baby let's go so this is going to be a close-up of all of them because it's gonna be a little hard for us to show you guys with the camera how it's gonna be set up so this is all of the ones that we have and all of the ones that we're going to be trying today and go all right y'all so our first tree this little thing this one is going to be called the malai pera it's going to be one of the famous indian desserts made from condensed milk and a special process of curling condensed milk turns into a richly textured product like koya which then flavored with karma cardamom and saffron take this before i eat this whole thing <laughs> it's good guys that is good that is good i've I never tasted anything like this before it melts right in your mouth it's i can definitely taste the condensed milk the condensed milk definitely that's the top most taste that yes. is there Everything else is just savory and very sweet. That yeah, is a good is very, little sweet. very sweet. So I like it. It's cool. Mm. I mm. wish they were bigger because I was about to eat that whole thing in one bite. I can't eat that whole thing in one bite. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Uh. Mm. That one was cool. And it was, the texture is like soft and like... It's like, it's not gooey. It's like... Grainy, gritty, 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 yeah. But it's not super, it's not bad. All right, guys. So this next thing... Next sweet is this thing. It looks, what it, guys, what does it look like? It looks like a smashed banana, right? I know. A banana, It definitely though. does. So this one is actually going to be, I believe, the Kesar Peta, which is one of the easiest Indian sweets to make and doesn't require too much time or effort. It's a traditional Indian sweet made by combining sweet koya with other flavors such as saffron and car caradon and formed into small balls and other shapes. So it's similar, it's just not the condensed milk. It's definitely similar, it's guys. It's different. It literally has the same taste, but I taste, I don't know why, but I'm tasting a little bit of a hint of banana. I swear. A little bit. Mm. Like at the end. It's the same gritty taste. Mm -hmm. It melts in your mouth. It's very sweet. It's not as condensed milk, though. No, and it's 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 like, it's so like the same thing as the first like sweet. Koya. Yeah, it's like the same thing as the first sweet. It's really good. That's good. I just need, I need for those first two sweets, milk. I need milk or something to help me drain it down. Mm -hmm. This one is good. We're on our next treat. This one looks very almondy, as you guys can see. Look at that. Tell me what it is, baby. This one is Hal uh Peta. So it's very similar to the other one. Um, it's a Gujarati. Gujarate Ooh. square a round shaped sweet dish made from coarsely grounded wheat flour milk edible gum sugar curd nutmeg mm. and garnished with the dry fruits get hold mm. of this baby guys is it good it's very very tarty and sweet mm. the almond pieces it's in like it it's squishy too it's very, very squishy, squishy babe very and it's sticky too guys very sticky but that is a good little organic sweet treat that's like a little breakfast. You know, I like this one better than the other ones. That taste is. I like, like this one better than the other ones. It's super tardy. Mm. It's really tardy. Nutmeg, wheat flour. Mm. I like this one better than the other ones. What about you? Um, I like the first one the best. That condensed milk was. They got me. You see, I eat the whole thing. That was my best pick so far. This one's very chewy. It's kind of like a. It's like, like a protein bar, but like squishy. That's what I'm like saying. Like a squishy, like a squishy protein bar. Yeah, I don't know, but it doesn't taste like protein. It's like a squishy sesame ball or something. You I don't know about how to explain it. It's like it's like I don't know what it is, but it's gr That's also it's definitely gritty. sweet. It's not super sweet. It's chewy. Um. The flavor is kind of neutral. It's not like super sweet or I can't really taste something like put my tongue on what it mm -hmm. is. I can definitely taste a nutmeg in here as well. I'm gonna save this one for later because I really like this one. All right guys, we're on our next sweet. This one looks very good and I'm excited because all the colors, look at guys. 
Tell me that doesn't look squeaky and good. And look at the back. Like what? It's like a what is that silver oil shaving stuff foil stuff? Here. Yeah. Go ahead, babe. Tell me what it is. So I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is the exact name. I don't know if I took the correct picture, but I believe I'm not sure. So don't don't get mad. <laughs> I think it's called the Patissa. I don't know. Sounds right. If I'm wrong, please comment down below what this one is. Um. Let me see how it tastes. I'm just gonna pass it to you. You just don't like tell it. Tell me how you like it. All right. I'm doesn't not really have a sure smell to it or nothing. This is the same one, though. Go ahead. <clears throat> I think this might be it. Do you want to talk first, or go ahead? I don't. It's not that I don't like it. It's it's okay. It's very bland. Like. The only taste that you... I like the texture. Yeah, the textures and stuff is all right. Um, but, like, I thought by the colors and the... In the Fruity. The, fru the fruitiness colors and stuff like that, I thought it was going to be sweet and fruity. But mm. it's really bland. It just really tastes like dough. It's kind of like a Play-Doh type texture. Literally, literally. Mm-hmm. So I was I had high hopes for that thing, but it I tastes mean, like pistachios or something, and it looks like there's pistachios on the top of here. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's 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 okay. Not too flavorful. It's definitely my least favorite though out of the bunch that we already had. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I just think that it needs more flavor. Yes. More like sweetness. More flavor. Yes. More like fruitiness. Like more, just more. That's all. But <laughs> I I would eat it though. I love the texture though. I love guys. It's literally like Play-Doh. I don't. Like, I, I don't want to make you guys think it's Play-Doh, so you won't eat it. But like, like just no, like, it's it's like literally Play-Doh like texture. Just look. Like this is how soft it is. It's like, so. It's too soft. It's. It looks like you like, like it. it. It looks like you like it. I like it. I just want more like pop and pop of like flavor. I want. I just. I like it. I just want more flavor. The baby was really bothering me about this one. She wanted to pick this little roll next. Look at that thing. Yes, that looks so cool. It does guys. look cool. And this one, guys, is it's not spongy at all. It's actually hard. It still mm -hmm. feels like Play-Doh. And it's unique. Like it's definitely different. So this one what is, this? is gonna be I'm not hundred percent sure, but I believe it's a traditional Indian sweet combination of rich almonds, pistachios, enjoyed this creamy sweet as a dessert i'm not 100 percent sure i'm trying to just find you know the correct information on it how does it taste i'm gonna pass it to you again really does it taste similar to the other one it does yeah it really does you stole the words right out of my mouth guys just that was def that one's not soft at all though it's soft to the bite but it's like soft, on the outside yeah, not super soft yeah that but it's it literally tastes exactly like the other sweet. This one I don't really care for it too much. I think it's even more bland though. Like no, no taste at all. I think there's a heart like a very deep pistachio taste mm -hmm. taste. Some type of different nut taste that I'm not <laughs> No me no me neither. I didn't want to go that deep, Wait. but there's it's some type of like pistachio nut or mm -hmm. some other type that I'm just not really used to. It's, um, it's, it's just, definitely it's the kind of like a, yeah, aftertaste. Mm -hmm. It's just like. It's like nothing. It's, I don't know. It's like unflavored dough. That's what it I tastes like. All right, guys, next sweet, this thing. Now. This one is a cylinder shaped Indian uh, methai recipe prepared from powdered cashews. That's probably what it is, but I like cashews. I, so it might it's be okay seasoning. for me. She likes cashews, I really And don't. pistachios, unlike other Indian sweet recipes. The kaju roll is considered to be less sugary. However, it would not disappoint in its taste <coughs> and richness. I can't. Guys, I'm not a big fan of cashews at all. I've tried them, I've tried to, I don't like them. You you might like that, but that's not for me. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'll say I what I say else. after you taste it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, I can't do it, guys. It's it's just nothing but cashew taste. Like not you can taste nothing else but cashew, cashew and just cashew. 
I don't have much words for that one. We're just not a fan of that one. And that, that's okay. It's okay. We can't like everyone. Mm -hmm. Next sweet. This one actually looks pretty good. It looks like it has fruity pebbles in there. Yeah. Look at that. This or one nerves. is called the Bandu Ladu. Bandu Landu? Bandu. Bandi no, ba Bond Ladu. Bandi Ladu. Bandi Ladu. Is a popular and in traditional Indian festive sweet made with graham flour, ghee, sugar, nuts, and caradam powder. Oh my god. Terupati Bondu Ladu is considered to be one of the most precious mm. prasadams oh, by precious. devotees. Oh, it's precious. The aroma and taste of Ladu Terapi Balaji Temple is amongst. The best amongst any other ladus. All Man. right, guys. Let me taste this taste, one. Taste this ladu. Be 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 real nice with to it, babe. Be real, you know. You smell it. So so. It precious. smells like Fruit Loops. Babe, just put it in your <laughs> mouth. Just put it in your mouth. It smells like Fruit Loops. Oh my. Oh my! It's like falling apart. Mmm. Hands down, that is the best sweet we've tried today. Mmm. Tastes like I, I don't care. It tastes like for the the almond pieces in there, but other than that, it's like falling apart. It is. Everything is perfect, guys. It's sweet. It's tart. It has every need that you need in a sweet. That is so good, y'all. That is so good. And you're. It's I like, don't really like it too much. What? Yeah. What you mean? What? It's like falling apart. Guys, she is crazy right now. Yeah, this it is just good. Fell apart. Mm -mm. And you guys, as you see, it's orange too. It tastes like a sun kiss, a sun kiss fruity pebble. Like, guys. No, it doesn't. I like this. I, I don't like. like so Look at that, guys. It all fell apart. You see, it started as a ball. Oh, there's a little fruity pepper. Let me grab it. Let me see what the red These one These are like. so good. Oh, no. I dropped it. I don't know what that is. Let me see. It's just, I don't like the texture. I mean, it's not nasty. It's just... Mmm. I like that a lot. It's like soggy cereal. It went in my sleeve. Look, y'all. Mm. It's like soggy cereal, right? Soggy... Fruit Loops. Mm. No, literally, but everything. I that was With my. With a little bit of crunch. That was my favorite, hands down. I don't need to I say don't really anything like else. In a three. All right, guys. Next snack, Jalebi. Can you say it with me? Jalebi. I would we said it wrong. Put it up close. But look, guys. It looks like a licorice rope. It's like really sticky, guys. Like really sticky. So this one is going to be um, a popular Indian sweet snack. It's made by deep frying maida flour, um, batter in pretzel or circular shapes, which are soaked in sugar syrup. I can see that and taste that. Let me get one more There's bite. There's a piece right here, though. Bay, I think. Tell me, tell me what it tastes like. Tell me if I'm reading your mind. It tastes like a sugar funnel cake. Mmm. A super sugar down funnel cake, but guys, like it's so. It just made like my right side tingle. It, this is so sweet, like I can't finish nothing else. You heard what the how what it's made. They said with. it's made with like a flour, flour and a batter, and, and just soaked in the sugar syrup. Yeah, um, it's too much sugar for me. Way too sweet for me. It's good, but. I have to let that go. I, there's a lot left, and I probably won't finish it either. Mm -mm. It's it's way too sweet for me. <laughs> way too sweet. But it's like literally it's like a sugar, super extremely sugar flour dough, or like a super sugar down pretzel. Hi right, guys, this is our next snack, the Angier Katori. Look how then, husky this thing is. Look how filled and big this is. And then this one is going to be the dry fruit ladu. Um, and then we also have two more treats, so definitely stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so I couldn't find too much information on this one. You can go ahead and taste that one. Um, so I'm just going to go based off of how we think it tastes. Um, and then so the dry fruit ladu is an instant and healthy ladu prepared with only dry fruits without any sugar or jaggery. 
It's a healthy ladu doesn't require edible gum to form the round shape. Its seedless dates are coarsely grounded to act as edible gum and give the sweetness to this amazing ladu. So let's go. I'm gonna taste this one. When you taste that one, switch with me. I already taste this one. It's like almonds, a whole bunch of stuff in here. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Alright, um, let me taste this one. Guys, I already taste that one. Not my, not my part of flavor, for me or my taste buds. I feel like this one. It's the same one as the. It's like a combination of this one and the roll mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. And I like the middle part, but again, I don't like the outside part. Yeah. It's just the taste of it. I just don't like it. This one, uh, I'm not really I'm, all into the nutty nut sweets, but it's actually good. But it's one of my least favorites too. Yeah, I don't really. This one is okay. I like the ice side. It's like it's super crunchy too, with the, the with the almonds and stuff in there too. I don't have a problem with it, but I don't know like about like the coating on it right here. I'm not really too much a fan of that. But everything else, I like it. It's crunchy. The nuts and stuff are pretty soft, so it's not like hard. The texture is pretty good. Looks like this pistachios, almonds, maybe like peanuts, cashews. And I think that's really it. But this one is okay. It's not my favorite. These are our last two sweets from our assorted box. So I'm really excited to try these two. This one right here that he has, she said it's one of the very most popular ones. And it looks very similar to some of the other ones that we just had. Please just not so, be no cashews, please. And as I guarantee it's cashews. That one's called the Kaju Katori. So that one contains cashews sugar I knew cashew it. sugar pistachios almonds and natural saffron and then this one right here that's in my hand is the kalak the kalakan kalakan yeah and it's an indian sweet made out of solidified calican that looks like calican kalakan oh uh, a calican kalakan 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 <laughs> Guys, remember, we're very new to these names. We're so new, we're trying. Don't forget guys, to comment trying. down below, please, and help us out. Yeah, so, um, and this is an Indian sweet made out of solidified sweetened milk called koa. Okay, so let's give them a try. Right, so, guys, try. she already said there's cashews in here, so don't be mad at me. I'm gonna take a small bite. <laughs> I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. It tastes the same? Yes, I can't do it, guys. I'm sorry. This one? Let's see that one. Smells like the condensed milk or something. Let's see. The taste isn't bad, but I don't like the texture. Okay, okay. Let me it's try. very squishy. It's like oatmeal. It feels like it's gonna like fall apart too. Okay. That's not bad. That's Ooh. a bit more so for you. It's very sweet. Yeah, I like this. It's very sweet. Um it's like soggy oatmeal, and it's very fruity. It's almost similar yeah, to- it's, it's fruity, it's similar to the orange the ball The orange one. little- uh, The orange bowl. one, like this one right here. I said bowl. It's similar, yes, to that orange uh, sweet that we had. This is very sweet and good, actually. I well, like it. Well, let me it. taste this one, because this one also can like break apart. I can't do the cashews. I can't. Yeah. The texture isn't bad though. The texture is not bad. It's not bad. It's just the flavor. The flavor, the flavor, the flavor. And I'm guessing that cashews, almonds, and pistachios are very popular in Indian culture, which I can see here. Mm. We really enjoyed every piece of sweet that we had. There were some that were not as pleasing as in other, but they're still good. It's yeah. just not, not too, our favorite. Not our favorite, not to our liking, which is okay. We appreciate you guys staying tuned so far from this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, up on, this, on video. this video. We'll be back for more videos. Always, we love you guys. Stay tuned with us. We'll see you in the next video.